Over 15 systems and 7,000 games for the Raspberry Pi 3B and B+. This is the recall box, latest uh, Dragon Blaze 6.0. That's kind of the big deal, is that now this will work on both the Pies. So whatever kind of pie you got, you should be green for go. And uh, look how clean this is. I'm just gonna hard scroll this. I mean, the days of this, you'd think I was on a PC, not this little single board computer. But yes, yeah, single board computer stock clock running the latest recall box. And a little bit of um, you know foreshadowing or what's to come is you know we now have bezel support, we now have the B plus support, we have a lot more things going on. And what I'm told is now we're gonna get video snaps soon and some other features. And then you have the simplicity. If you haven't seen my videos before, I always talk up recall box in the simplicity factor of how easy it is to add controllers, set the controllers, get into Kodi, change any of your UI settings, the scripts, or not the scripts, but the themes and all that stuff. It's just right there with the hit of a start button. And then when you hit select, you have some uh, shortcuts there, but also when you're in the game systems, you hit select. Um, it's really easy to sort, favorite, things like that. It's all one click stuff, no scripts, no keyboard required. Um, so here we are, YB recall box build. Uh, launch little launch screens bezels as you see them there it's a 32 gigabyte and it's uh, packed so let's go ahead and uh, get into it so here we are on first boot a um, couple of things, 29.7 gigabytes is the file size. It does come pre-zipped up, so you the actual download size I think is like closer to 23 or 24 gigabytes. And then uh, as far as how many bytes is that when it's all extracted, it's 31,914,984,000 bytes. So kind of big, it might not fit on all 32 gigabyte SD cards, but I have it on a Samsung Pro and it is fitting just fine. Another thing I did was I just turned off the um, the front end sound, I went to sound sit, hit start, sound settings, and then front end music, I turned it off, it was on. So if you want some 8-bit music, some classic game music, go ahead and check that out. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, look how buttery smooth this is, nice. Um, the other thing is once you have a controller hooked up, I'm using an Xbox 360 style controller, uh, just press any key on your controller on first boot, and then it should prompt you to set your controls, and then it should look something like this here. You go ahead and hold down the button, and then this is the same Thing. So up, down, left, right, and then I have my left analog, I go up and left, my right analog, up and left, and then I just copy the controller configuration there, start select, um, these are my front uh, bumpers and my triggers, and then this is when I click in my analog sticks, and then I use select for my hotkey. Other than that, you guys would be running a similar build to mine if you had this. A little highlight there, you do have Daphne, um, you do have... Um, Final Burn Alpha and Neo Geo, so you got a nice little arcade set, but you also got a few um, really good um, consoles on here as well. Um, something I'm waiting for is a you know really well built 128 gigabyte or even 64 gigabyte recall box build. Before I get into this, I have to say my top recall box builds to date. I would probably I still need to do a little more digging on this one. Um, but from the looks of it, I would probably put Galistio's latest recall box build at the top because he's is on the Dragon Blaze, so it is working for both Pies, and it's 128 gigabytes, so you have over 12,000 games. Now, he does have some things in Portuguese, and you do have to change some languages around. I'm willing to go off, go over those hurdles, and to me, that's a better image. Um, I'd then probably put this one, and then lastly, um, if you want arcade only, I recently did a, a, a image review on um, Dar's Zone did a really cool arcade only. That would be in my top three if I was looking for arcade, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little star asterisk next to that while I go into um, what I would also put, which I'd probably go back to an older version of Recall Box, and I have to give the Emolga team the award there. If you, do, if you have a Raspberry Pi 3B, as of to date, I would go with that image, um, that 32 gigabyte image. If you have a Raspberry Pi 3B+, plus, Unfortunately, you got to go with you know either this image or I imagine there's going to be new images. I've been talking to some image creators, and they all said they're waiting for the next version of Recall Box because that will have the um, video snaps along with some other features that Recall Box has been testing and working with. Um, thus, basically giving you everything uh, RetroPie has to offer, um, but then the easeability of the single click. 
um, scripts and, and just you know easy uh, easy uh, graphic interface that um, RetroPie doesn't always necessarily offer, and it's kind of um, you know a lot of people don't like to do it because they're a little intimidated by it. So um, you know I think that's going to be the best of all worlds once that all comes together. So there you have it, my top three recall box. Um, I'd probably put this one in third or so. Um, I would definitely put Galistios above this one just because it's bigger. It has a lot more going on. Has some you know prototypes and hacks, and it's just a really robust image in that uh, regard. I'd put it higher than this. Um, and then if you don't have, if you have a Raspberry Pi 3B, I said Emolga. And then if you want an arcade only set, there's the Dara Zone arcade. And then you have this one. I'd put those all you know within a top five category. Back to this one. Um, the highlights to me on this one are just super fast loading. It's all in English, so you're good there. It does have Daphne. Uh, from what I've seen, everything I've played works just great. Um, it is missing a few systems, though, and a few games. Um, let's go ahead and go through here really quick. Super Graphics 5 games, Super Nintendo, 1045. So this one does, uh, I'm sure it's going to have the, um, yeah, so it does have your Famicom in there as well, Super Famicom. Sega CD, 15 games. So that's actually two systems right there. Sega CD, 15. Sega Genesis, 32X, 36. Turbo Graphics CTE, you get 15 games. There's some nice CD games here. It's good to see. And uh, Turbo Graphics 16, 286. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 76. NES, 1341. So you're going to have your uh, Famicom in here as well. Okay. Neo Geo. You got all of 146, Sega Genesis, 937. So you're going to have your, there you go, you have your Europe, USA. There's probably some Japanese ones in here as well somewhere. Okay. Um, Sega Master System, 362. MAME Arcade, 1375. So decent arcade set on here as well. Cool game right there. Um, and like I mentioned, you do have bezels. Um, no video snaps, as if you missed that earlier. Recall box does not have video snaps. Um, but as you look how fast, this is one of the fastest loading arcade. Look how fast this is. Like this does not happen on a lot of retro buy builds. Like it's just not that fast loading. I mean, a lot of times it's just video snaps. They have like a little black screen in between. But um, this is butter, very butter, very smooth. Um, so let's go ahead and we can jump a letter here. Look how fast that was. And that's no speed up, just on a regular Raspberry Pi 3B plus. And uh, just looking at these arcade games, they're not doing anything crazy. You know, a lot of people try to put the arcade games that are right on the borderline of graphics. You know, Mortal Kombat does not run on the Pi 3B yet. The arcade version. <laughs> you can play a Super Nintendo version all day. Um, wow, it's a lot, really, a lot of games on here. I'm trying to just pick one that maybe is a little more graphically. Uh, is it a mature game? Okay, no, it's Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> um, so some cool um, trackball games on here as well. If you have a trackball, this could be a good set for you. A lot of shootems, Mortal Kombat. Why don't we just do MK3? Boot times, not phenomenal, phenomenal, but not bad either. Let's enter some tokens. Oh, whoops, I meant that too. Whoa! You messed up there, kid. There we go. Oh, come on.
Oh, come on. There we go. Nice and toasty on that one. Come on. She won't ever fall for my trap here. I want to get her at least once for that. She always seems to get me with that one. Like, oh. There we go. Oh, fine. oh, I might lose this now. There we go. Later. <laughs> There we go. So, really good. Not much lag at all. Running well. So, final thoughts. Cool little recall box build. Um, as I mentioned, I gave you my top three. This is definitely a great contender. I think if this was expanded, it would be even better. Um, but, I mean, it's got, it's got no BS. You know, when you look about it, you know, it doesn't have anything crazy. It's got, like, really good, solid games. I say it's got a really good collection of fighters and shooters. Um, and, uh, you know, as far as what I would add is I just think you can add a lot more of those retro systems, Amiga, things like that. And then uh, you can add some newer systems because Dreamcast does play pretty good and PlayStation plays pretty good on Recall Box. You can get into stuff like that. But obviously a little 32 gig, little cheap little image. Um, this is definitely really good. That's the only, you know, at the 32 gigabyte range, this would definitely be in the top three. But I'm just saying recall box images in general, um, you know, the Glee Steel 128, it just has a lot more stuff on it. And the fact that 128 gigabyte SD card is under $20 now, you know, it's at the point now where I feel like it's pretty, pretty affordable. You can get a whole RetroPie setup for under hundred bucks. So, um, great image. I really do like it at the 32 gigabyte level. I'll give it the A. I did want to give did make this video like a twofer though because you know we've seen a lot of this. I think the biggest things are this new update from Recall Box is awesome and everyone's really looking forward to the next version. And then somebody asked me to do another top five video of my top five Recall Box builds. So it's like, hey, I'll review this video and then also include my top five uh, in, in this video as well to kind of make two videos in one. With all that said, thanks YB for the cool image. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.